If you are looking for a job or are ready to change careers, finding the places that are looking to hire can be a struggle, but our next guests are here to help. Everything from law enforcement to medical offices to financial institutions, you can find your next career step easily because Brookline College is hosting a free career fair for the public. Michelle Gregory and Regina Gonzalez are here with all of the details. Now, Michelle, let's start with you. Why is Brookline College hosting this career fair? Well, it's actually an opportunity for us to reach out to our community. We have a lot of partners that we work with in the community, a lot of employers. We actually do two a year, so this is our spring career fair. And we welcome them and invite them onto our campus, allow them to meet with job seekers. Some are students, not all. It is open to the public. So we do allow that for them and just try to give back to our community. I love that you guys are giving back. That's amazing. And so, Regina, who is it that we're asking? We say the community, but who is your ideal person to come to the fair? An ideal person to come to the fair would be anybody seeking uh, a new job or that is currently unemployed looking to find a job at this time. Excellent. And then if people are interested in coming, what are some of the things they can do to prepare the materials that maybe they should bring with them to the job fair? Definitely a resume. You have to have an updated resume. Employers will be uh, welcome from our campus to do on-site interviews. So we have some interviews rooms available, so they'll be doing on-site interviews. So dress for success, bring your resume, and a positive attitude. That always <laughs> helps. So a smile, they welcome that. Well, I know the career advisors over at Brookline do an amazing job of getting your students ready to go out into the career Thank you. world. <laughs> uh, and so I'm sure that, you know, those are a lot of things that you would say to your own students. Go yes. out, have a positive attitude, come. I always say dress not for the job that you have, but for the job that you want. Uh, so that's come looking nice. And then, you know, when we listed off a couple of the jobs, I guess, careers that will be there, law enforcement, financial institutions, what else will be there? So we have over 40 employers that will be attending this job fair. So it comes all the way down from like call centers to um, stores to, like you said, the financial institutions, law enforcement, and even um, city jobs as well. So those of you that are looking into any of those areas, I would highly recommend that you do come out and attend this job fair. Well, because we know Brookline for medical. So yes. maybe people are thinking, oh, maybe there's just going to be medical fields there. But I love that you guys are expanding it, like you said, mm -hmm. to partners that you guys work with in the community. So this really is for a lot of different people. Yes, it is, definitely. Uh, we're going to have a wide range, like I said, of employers. So um, over 40 of them. So it is something that I would highly recommend for anybody to come and stop by and just take a look. Lots of opportunities, lots of different um, types of jobs being offered, probably for any kind of age group, any kind of level you know, in their profession, which I think is amazing. But something that really sets this apart is that you will have that on-site interview process happening. And so, I mean, what else could you ask for? If you need a job, this is the place to be, right? And, and definitely not even those that are just unemployed, but if you're, if you're feeling like maybe you're underemployed, you have a job, but maybe you feel like you want um, more, you have more to offer, this is an opportunity for you to come in, take a few minutes and speak with the actual hiring managers and those recruiters that you may not have the op another opportunity to speak with. So just really sell yourself and let the businesses sell themselves to you as well. So. You know, Michelle, I'm going to be honest. Uh, we've all at one point in time have gone looking for jobs. And in this day and age, you feel like you send a resume online. You're amongst a lot of different resumes. And you maybe feel like you get kind of lost in that electronic, you know, oh, humbo jumbo yes, out yeah. there. You're like, I don't know where my resume is going. <laughs> right. I love that you said that because people are really going to be able to sit down. You're going to be able to put a face to my resume. Mm -hmm. And you get to sell yourself. So this is what I think sets it apart from a lot of job seeking. And also, I'd like to offer, um, one of the things I think people struggle with the most with the career fair is, how do you make the most of it? You don't even know what to do. You walk in, there's tons of people, there's, it's overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And so if that happens to any job seeker that comes in, look for Gina, look for myself, look for Jesse, and we'd be happy to kind of show you how to make the most of a career fair, because it can be overwhelming if it's your first time. Absolutely. Oh, I think that's great that you're offering uh, the services um, from the staff at Brookline. Of course, Regina, Jesse Rhodes, which also does a great job at career advising over there. Mm -hmm. Ladies, thank you so much for coming on. This is such a great thing that you're doing for the community, and also Brookline is such a great place to come to, and you also get some more information. So thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you.
-hmm. Now, the Brookline College Career Fair is being held on April 22nd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. For more on the event, you can call 748-9799 or visit their website, brooklinecollege.edu.